Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn about AI powered test automation using Playwright MCP server and GitHub Copilot. So let's begin. Let's first understand about what is GitHub Copilot. So GitHub Copilot is an AI coding assistant that helps you to write code faster and with the less effort, allowing you to focus more energy on the problem solving and the collaboration. So what are the key features here? So basically, get code suggestions as you type in your id chat with the copilot to ask for the help with your code ask copilot for the help using the command line organize and share task specific contacts with the copilot spaces to get more relevant answers generate a description of the changes in the pull request create and manage collection of documentations called knowledge bases to use a context for the chatting with the copilot and work on the code changes and create a pull request for you to review so there are a lot of stuff you can do and if you want to learn about this one just go to this features and here you will get more information around this github copilot so here you go and you can see how things are working so just go to this particular link and read about this one meanwhile just understand that a github copilot is basically your ai programming assistant okay and in order to use this one, so you need to go to uh, their website, GitHub Copilot, and this is how it looks like in the Visual Studio code. So simply, you can ask, you can ask to review the code, provide the information, fix the problem. So a lot of stuff you can do. And in order to use this in the VS Code, what you need to do is that simply go to the VS Code, and here go to the extensions and here search for github copilot and what you need to do is that you need to install this github copilot which is already installed for me so again it's an ai peer programming tool that helps you to write a code faster and smarter and it comes along with the github copilot chat in case if this extension didn't got installed you need to install this as well once you have this one you need to sign up and after sign up you need to log in so that you can have access to the github copilot in the vs code so here here's the option at the top you click on this one and it will open the chat on the right side and even you get an option at the bottom right here so from here you can use the github copilot so once you have github copilot now what we need is that we need a playwright mcp server so for that again go to the browser go to the github for the playwright mcp server and here scroll down and you see that install server vs code so you need to click on this one it will give a pop-up and give the instructions you need to install this one so after installation that should be available inside the vs code so here in order to see that the mcp playwright is available so simply go here open the command palette and type mcp and we have this list servers click on this one and you see that i have this playwright mcp which is right now in the stop mode so i just need to press on this one and start the server so the playwright is started now and it discovered 24 tools now once you have started the server so basically you need to change this to the agent mode and here we have a configure tools option so basically these are the tools which can be utilized by the github copilot so it can access to your code base so whatever you create the project it can access it can edit the file extension fetch and here if you scroll down you see that here it is also able to utilize the playwright mcp server and here you can see that we have all the tools which are available so utilizing these tools github copilot can work for you okay so now let's start with the very basic what i will do is that i will simply create a folder and open that folder here so let me go to my desktop let's create new folder mcp mcp playwright and go 
file it and simply I'll go back and open folder and that's on my desktop so this is NC player and copilot just open this one and trust this one and again just go here and see either it has access to the playwrights mcp server or not so once uh, you have done this one we have a open a project which is empty in nature simply i will say create a robust playwright playwright framework using page object model and programming language should be java script and once framework is ready have some sample files and just uh, press enter and see what happens so simply it's trying to generate for us so you see that on the left side it created a pages folder test folder it is folder and asking us to keep this one on order still is working you know so it's creating based on our structure so we are not writing even a single line of the code not even creating the files right so everything is done using the github copilot and once it will be done then we will ask it to write a playwright code using the playwright mcp server so i'll simply say keep this one and what i'll say now open browser and navigate to orange hrm demo website and provide username username and password click on login button after that wait for page to load and verify that dashboard is loaded after completing this create a playwright script write a script based on the above execution and ensure that it should follow the follow above framework now just uh, press enter and see what happens over here so it's asking to install the playwrights so okay let's continue with this one and it's now reading this one so it's okay to proceed press yes and you see that it's installing the playwright now in the next command is continuous one now you see that it's asking uh, for to open this open uh, orange rm demo website just click on continue so you see that it has successfully opened the browser and navigating to orange channel website and now it is taking a snapshot of this one and it will try to locate the username field continue on this one then password field continue on this one and locating the login button continue and if i go here so you see that it has successfully logged in into this one and now it's creating the files based on the frameworks i haven't write a single line of code so far so it's doing everything from my prompt and now if i minimize this one 
So you see that we have these files just as a keep. And here you see that we have a dashboard page object file. We have Arjun login page object file. We have this test. We have this test test utilities for the timeout so i don't need uh, the initial these files so simply read these ones from here and here we don't need this login or home page test so simply remove this one and remove this one right and now we have this login test so you see that the dashboard page should be visible and it's providing the username and password and logging into the or HRN website now even in order to run this one i'm i'm not even writing a command i will just say run above create it test so you see that it is executing the npx command to run this test so simply continue this one so it's running and we haven't uh, asked for you know to open this one in the headed mode so it will execute the test by default in the non-headed mode so we will not see any execution happening over here but it is actually be executing this test and says the pass so even once you have written the code what you can do is that you can ask to create the repo and commit the code and you can do all the steps so in this way most of the work you can do using the playwright mcp server and github copilot maybe 80 percent of work is done by this 20 percent you might need to do the tweaks but as far as this one is really good you can simply start with the playwright mcp server github copilot inside the vs code and do your ai powered automation